Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss a class of antidepressants called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploaded videos. Okay, let's get started. Let's talk about the mechanism of action of SSRIs. While I'm explaining how SSRIs work, I want you to pay close attention to the picture here because it will help you understand it better. So SSRIs, they inhibit the serotonin transporter at the presynaptic terminal. So if you look at the picture here, you can see the serotonin transporter. Now, the role of the serotonin transporter is reuptake of serotonin. In other words, the serotonin transporter, what it does is it transports serotonin from the synaptic cleft back into the presynaptic neuron, which is also called reuptake. So that's the reuptake of serotonin. Now, SSRIs, they inhibit this process. They inhibit the reuptake of serotonin. So by inhibiting the reuptake of serotonin, you have an increased concentration of serotonin in the synapse that is available to stimulate the postsynaptic receptors. This is how SSRIs work. Let's talk a little bit more about SSRIs. So they are generally comparable Usually, um, when starting um, the medication, initial choice is usually based on side effect profile, safety concern, and patient-specific factors. They have a lag effect, so they may take four weeks or longer to work. Um, also, very important to note that they must be tapered upon discontinuation, um, and that's to minimize the withdrawal symptoms. Let's look at the medications that belong in the SSRI class. Common SSRIs, fluoxetine, brand name Prozac, paroxetine, brand name Paxil, fluvoxamine, brand name Luvox. Important thing to know about fluvoxamine is that it's generally used for obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. Sertraline, brand name Zoloft, citalopram, brand name Celexa, Escitalopram, brand name Lexapro. Let's look at this practice question together. All of the following medications are SSRIs except A. Escitalopram, B. Fluoxetine, C. Sertraline, D. Venlafaxine. I'll give you five seconds to write in the comments below which one you think the answer is. Okay, let's look at it together. Uh, a, escitalopram is an SSRI. Okay, the brand name is Lexapro. B, fluoxetine or Prozac is also an SSRI. C, sertraline or Zoloft is also an SSRI. D is the correct answer. Vinlafaxine or brain name Effexor is in SNRI. So vinlafaxine inhibits um, norepinephrine and serotonin. So serotonin and norepinephrine. So it is an SNRI and not an SSRI. So that makes the correct answer D. Um, adverse effects um, to be aware of with SSRIs is that they can have sexual side effects such as decreased libido, ejaculatory dysfunction. They can also cause nausea, insomnia, somnolence, dizziness, and headache. Um, some of them can also cause um, QT prolongation, citalopram, and escitalopram. There is also a black box warning for increased risk of suicidal thinking and behavior in children, adolescents, and young adults with MDD and other psychiatric disorders. 
There are also some drug interactions and contraindications that are important to note with SSRIs. So SSRIs can um, increase the risk of bleeding when used concurrently with NSAIDs, anticoagulants, antiplatelets, and ginkgo. Also, combining SSRIs and MAY can lead to serotonin syndrome. There is a washout period that is needed when switching from SSRI to MAOI. If you don't know what serotonin syndrome is or you want to know more, you can just um, let me know in the comment section um, and I'll answer. Linizolid can also increase the risk of serotonin syndrome, so that is an interaction. Fluoxetine and paroxetine are strong 2D6 inhibitors, so they will interact with drugs that are metabolized by 2D6. So important to note um, when looking at um, medications to make sure there is no significant drug interactions. Practice question number two. All of the following are true about fluoxetine except A. It starts working immediately. You should start to feel better within, within one day or so. B. It can cause sexual side effects such as decreased libido. C. It works by inhibiting the serotonin transporter at the presynaptic terminal. D. Its brand name is Prozac. Again, I'll give you five seconds to write your answer in the comments below. Okay, let's look at it together. A, so A, it starts working immediately. You should start to feel better within one day or so. This is false. So we talked about that. Um, the SSRIs, they have a lag effect, so they can take um, several weeks before um, they take effect for their full effect. Um, so that is false. So that is actually the correct answer. Let's look at the other answers. Um, B, it can cause sexual side effects such as decreased libido, so that is true. C, it works by inhibiting the serotonin transporter at the presynaptic terminal. Again, that is true. If you remember, um, we talked about this earlier. We said that the SSRIs, they inhibit the serotonin transporter. Um, so by doing that, they inhibit the reuptake of serotonin. So there is more serotonin available in the synapse. So we talked about that. D, its brain name is Prozac. That is also true. So the correct answer is A. A is the only one that is false here. That is all I have for today. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!